right, this will be your TNA Impact Wrestling Review for July 10, 2014. Overall, this show was a very good, entertaining show by TNA. It opened up with Kurt Angle. He's in the ring. He talks about tonight being Championship Showcase, literally every title being on the line, with the exception of the world title, because the main event is a 20-man battle royal where the winner gets a shot at the world title in New York. And he talks about, you know, the X-Vision title, the knockout title, and the tag titles. And he calls out Willow to come out. He tells Willow, you know, for the Battle Royal, I need the most competitive competitor in the business to compete in the main event. In a nutshell, he says, you know what? We need Jeff Hardy. And the crowd is chanting for Jeff Hardy. There's a lady with her son in the crowd, all dressed up in Willow gear, chanting for Hardy's name, the loudest out of the whole people in the crowd. Which I thought was funny, but again, at the end of it, Willow and Kurt Angle shook hands to seal the deal, so Jeff Hardy would be in the main event. And then you had the first match of the night for the tag title. You had the Wool versus Bram and Magnus. Which was a good match. It went back and forth. Both teams did their usual shtick here. The Wolves got the win. At the end of the match, Bram and Magnus went to attack the Wolf. But Bram went out of control. And Magnus had to control him and stop him. And then you had a Bobby Roode promo. In the promo, Bobby Roode talks about wanting something so bad. And he calls it MVP for a fight. He counts to 10. On the 5th count, MVP comes out. He calls Bobby Roode a crybaby. Mind you, MVP's on the stage. Bobby Roode walks up to the ramp but Kenny King attacks him from behind and out of nowhere out comes Eric Young for the save but to no avail because out of nowhere Lashley comes out for the spear and then you had a backstage promo with Sonata and James Storm and Storm tells Sonata you know what I actually like it I see you have a lot of potential but tonight if you lose the X Division title to Austin Aries then you will disappoint the Great Muda you will disappoint the Japanese culture and let's be honest the Great Muda is controlling you by you being the X Division champion and he tells Sonata that tonight, he cannot choke. And then we get the match. Austin Ari versus Saya Sonata for the X Division title. This match was probably the best match of the night, in my opinion. It went back and forth. It wasn't a spot fest, but literally in this match, Austin Ari kicked out of two moonsaults. Sonata kicked out of a brain buster. Ari hit the 450 splash for the win. I'll say this, alright? In my opinion, okay? If you're TNA and you're going to Japan for Bound for Glory, you should make Sonata the world champion. Let's be honest, the dude has so much potential. And let's be honest also, when was the last time there was a Japanese wrestler as a world champion in a American promotion? I think the last time it was Takashi Morishima back in Ring of Honor back in 2007. And then we get a Bully Ray promo. He comes out to the ring. He talks about Rhino, how they were friends a while back, years ago. And he was in shock that Rhino actually gored him and he attacked him and he turned his back on Bully Ray. And then out comes, you know... Rhino with EC3 and Spud. And Bully Ray wants to know why you did it. Why did you sell out? And then Rhino was like, you know what, bro? Come on. You are a con artist. You have con from so many people. They mentioned Paul Heyman. They even mentioned Dixie Carter. And then Bully Ray mentions, you know, Rhino, you're responsible for being fired in WWE and also in TNA. EC3 says that Rhino is being paid by the Carter because obviously Rhino needs money to provide for his family. Rhino, EC3, and Spud attack Bully Ray. Tommy Dreamer comes out for the save with the kendo step. And then you had a fatal four-way for the knockout tag. Angelina Love, Madison Rain, Brittany, and Gail Kim. I'm gonna be honest, this was not the best match on the show, all right? It didn't go long, but Brittany looked way off in this match. Everyone hit their finisher. At the end, Gail Kim hit the defeat to Angelina Love for the pin. Gail Kim retained her title. And then you had Battle Royal, where the winner gets a shot at the world title to face Lashley in New York. Eliminations were going really fast here, left and right. The final four was Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Jeff Hardy, Kenny King. Bobby Roode was about to eliminate Kenny King, but MVP with this crutch, who is outside of the ring, attacks Bobby Roode, which causes Kenny King to eliminate Bobby Roode. And from behind, Eric Young eliminates Kenny King. You're down to your final two, Jeff Hardy and Eric Young. And they didn't go long after that. Jeff Hardy eliminates Eric Young, and Jeff Hardy wins, which was kind of predictable, if you ask me, because in the opening segment, it kind of gave you the hint that Jeff Hardy was going to win. Then Lashley comes out and has a stare down with Jeff Hardy to close the show. Overall, tonight, Impact was a good show. If you missed it, go check it out. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section of this video. Your thoughts on impact overall and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you later next video. I'm out. Peace.